Chris, what is our second main topic today? Our second topic comes from Hayden Wilson. Aw, Hayden's my brother's name. Good on you, Hayden. Great name. Over the weekend, some images of promo stuff highlighted The Flash's new suit for the movie. And the director just posted a look at Central City on set. We have not got anything new for the movie since DC Fandom in 2021. Personally, my patience for the official trailer is growing smaller by the day. Me too, bud. But what came out this weekend looks awesome, and I'm just ready for this movie to be out. Did you get a chance to see any of this? If so, does it make you more excited for the movie? All right, Hayden, thanks a lot for sending that in. Appreciate that. And yeah, look, it 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 has begun. As, uh, as they said in Mortal Kombat, it has begun. <laughs> so the marketing... For the Flash is officially ramping up now. They, of course, dropped that ridiculous thing for the CW show with the golden boots. I mean, remember that? <laughs> like, that was just a stupid poster. <laughs> but for the movie, it's now kind of this is the unofficial launch of the marketing campaign because the director of the film, Andy Muschietti, who is the main and sole reason why a lot of us have been excited about it. He did jump on his social media. This is now out there and this is from the direct. Uh, he has jumped out there and started putting out some now promotional stuff. The directors and the cast starting to put things out usually is that, that calm before the storm. It's the preamble. It's this, the build up of this is when we're starting our marketing campaign. And if you scroll down that page, Jonathan, but sure. you'll see the Instagram post that uh, Muschietti put up with the, he's on set of what is supposed to be Central City holding kind of a batarang version of the flash symbol in his hand saying Central City at Midnight. Now, he actually edited that because his first caption on it was, I found this hashtag the flash movie, but then he changed it to Central City at midnight. And so obviously this is not new. This was a, obviously a picture that was taken a long time ago when they were on set and shooting all that kind of stuff. But still, this is kind of the bell has been rung. This is it. They are starting the marketing campaign for this. We are, of course, building up to what we understand is going to be the first trailer that's coming out soon. We're going to start seeing some official images because you're right. They haven't really showed us dick since that DC fandom, right? And they kind of came out guns blazing two DC fandoms ago with all this stuff about Flash and everything. And then it's kind of been all quiet on the Western front since then. We haven't heard anything, but now this thing's going. So it raises the question. Now that, A, Chris, we know that it's real. Mm. <laughs> Do and, we? <laughs> Do we, though? <laughs> Do we? That looks like the fake moon landing. And two, or B, as the case may be, that they are now getting into the business of trying to sell this movie to the audience. It does raise the question, how is the audience going to respond? Ultimately, that's what a marketing campaign is, right? It's a marketing campaign is a set of advertisements meant to elicit a response from the audience to get them excited about coming to see the movie. Can they do this? How do they approach it? Um, I think, look, I, I don't want to be that guy who, you know, puts a whole bunch of imaginary meaning on a single still image that the director put out. But I don't think it's a coincidence that the first kind of little build-up promo thing that they did did not include Ezra Miller in it. <laughs> and I, I think you're going to see them. Obviously, you're going. we're going to see Ezra in promotion. We are. I don't think we're going to see as much Ezra in the promotion as we are accustomed to seeing the main protagonist of a movie being front and center in the promotion. I think we're ultimately probably going to get more Michael Keaton uh, than that, but we are going to see Ezra, but I, I think we're going to see that unlike say Hobbs and Shaw, which we're going to talk about a little bit later, which every bit of marketing, almost every frame had Dwayne, the rock Johnson front and center. I don't think that will be the, the case with the marketing here, but again, we'll, we'll see how they proceed. I think depending on how good or bad the trailers are, despite everything we've talked about with Ezra Miller, despite the fact that Warner Brothers absolutely will not bring them back. I don't care what any of those other reports have said. Warner Brothers will absolutely not bring Ezra Miller back. Despite, and nor should they. Despite all of that, I think there is also a truth that we've brought up many times that a lot of the average movie-going audience maybe have heard about some of the stuff going on with Ezra Miller, but probably don't care all that much. And is this going to be a... $200 million opening film? No. But it can be a big opening. It can be successful. 
And I think if they really lean into the nostalgia of Michael Keaton being there and stuff like that, I think there's an audience to be found. And if they play their cards right, and that's always it, if they play their cards right. But if they play their cards right with this marketing, you can see this Flash movie succeed. And I think you can see it have a really decent opening weekend. Again, we're not talking in the $200 million range or anything like that. But I think it can work depending on how they approach it. And I kind of think this first picture might be giving us a little bit of an insight how they do it. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. If saving more and spending less is one of your top goals for 2023, why are you still paying insane amounts of money every month for your phone bill? Switching to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save money this year. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just $15 a month. Guys, I have told you before that when I was on one of the major phone carriers, I was spending literally three times as much every month and switching to Mint Mobile couldn't have been easier. So for people just looking to save some extra money this year, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. You can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily in just minutes with eSIM. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Anyway, Chris, as somebody who doesn't believe in Neverland <laughs> and that this movie actually exists. I believe in Neverland. <laughs> just not the flash. Second star on this, right, and straight on till morning. Come on. So what do you think about this picture they put out and how do you think ultimately the wider movie going on will respond to a marketing campaign? I mean, the image of Central City is kind of... Uh, very snyder versey, right? It's still gritty DC. And I know it's the town at night and everything, but uh, there's not too much to glean here, honestly. It's it's a metropolitan area. I do like our little flash emblem here. That's nice. I think what they have to do, like you were saying, is really lean into the Keaton of it all. I mean, I think that's what most people are still hanging on to some excitement for. And I know I keep teasing this film and everything, but I think that's that's the real kind of pull right now is, Keaton is Batman. Come on, we want this movie to come out so we get Keaton back in the cowl. At least that's my, where my excitement lies. I really don't care about Barry at this point. I really just don't because I know <laughs> I know this is all getting scrapped and everything. Sure, maybe if the film does well, they could in continue going on this trek, but I don't see Gunn or Saffron continuing on with this version of The Flash. So really all I want is that lovely, lovely Tim Burton Batman to be back on the big screen. <laughs> so I feel like that's what you lean into. And I think that's what they're going to capitalize a lot on when we see that Super Bowl trailer. And again, it's it's to go back to something, they showed us footage of The Flash at CinemaCon. And it while Barry was in it, it was clearly a Michael Keaton Batman promo it spot. was keaton heavy it was very it all revolved around keaton's batman and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff and i and barry was there and i think we're gonna get a lot of that anyway rob you they're kind of starting it up we're five months out from the movie coming out allegedly we're five months out from the flash finally coming out uh by the way i just want to point out i can't remember how long ago it was but i had Stephen amell um on one of my shows, he came in to talk about uh, Arrow. And it was two days after the debut of Grant Gustin's Flash show. And that was the day they announced they were doing Ezra Miller's Flash movie. And I just want to point out, that was seven seasons ago. <laughs> two days after The Flash started, the very first episode, season one, episode one, and they had announced that Ezra Miller was getting his own Flash movie. That was, and we are now getting ready. This is season seven, right? Is this season seven or eight for The Flash? I can't remember. Whatever. Sure. Seven, eight, nine, Good. ten, doesn't matter. That's how long we've been, they've been it was, it was planning a decade ago. on this. So allegedly this thing's coming out here soon. Rob, what do you think their approach to the marketing is going to be? And how do you think the general movie going to announce is going to respond to this marketing? I think they're going to focus on the, we don't know anything about the story of what this movie is. By the way, everybody in the live chat has correct me. Season nine that season they're going into. Mm -hmm. That's how long ago they announced this Ezra movie. Anyway. It's amazing. No, I, I think they're going to lean into the story itself. They're going to talk about the character of Flash, the character of Batman, 
And if rumors are to be believed, we're going to see a lot more than we even know we're getting with this movie. So right. I really do think that they're going to lean heavily on the story itself, the other characters, the fact that they're going to, I think is the marketing is going to, is going to make you believe that this is real. There isn't an actor playing flash named Ezra Miller. There is just the flash, you know, and that's what they're going to do. And I think the story, because everyone's talking about John, we have heard nothing behind the scenes other than this movie's great. Yeah. I have not heard one person say anything and people I've, I know have seen it who have worked on it said the movie's great. No one's ever said anything that, Oh, it's, it's okay. So I would assume that when these trailers start rolling out, they're going to focus on the movie itself. If that seems odd, but I think that's what they're going to do is focus on the story. I would assume the movie's fun. It's exciting. It's got surprises and revelations that we don't know are coming and they're going to give us that. And they're going to show us, here's the Flash fun movie that you really want to see. And by the way, Batman's in it. Michael Keaton. I mean, that's a big deal. And I think that's how they're going to sell it, the movie to us. I don't think they're going to concentrate. I, I don't think you're going to see, and Ezra Miller is the Flash. I don't think they're going to do that. Yeah. And again, you know, Chris brought up something. I, I keep hearing this and I, I, I just don't understand some people's attitudes towards movies these days. Because like there, I, I often still see the question about why should anybody care about the Flash if they're not going to do another one after it? It's yeah. like, did you like Inception? <laughs> or you go, oh, why would I watch? Why would I watch Inception? They didn't do a sequel. What's the point of watching Interstellar? What's the point? If they, there's no sequel, so why, why would it? Because it's a hopefully it's a good movie. The same with any anything. Anyway, so here's they're going to reboot the DCU, though. I'm just like, all right, well, you can do your thing, I guess. Yeah, I mean, Bye. all I want, see, just make a good movie. I go into a movie theater not going, how well will this set up a future movie? I go in and go, I want to have a good time. Show me a good movie. Show yep. me a good story, whether it's an interstellar or whatever. I, just show me a good movie, and, and we're good to go. Anyway, guys, question is for you. It looks like the unofficial starting point of a movie that's now just five months out, this Flash movie that I've been talking about for nine seasons of the CW Flash is finally coming and they're ramping up the marketing now. What do you think they're going to focus on as it starts to come to fruition, starts to come out as we see in TV spots and trailers start dropping and all that kind of stuff? And how do you think the general audience is going to respond to it? Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comment section below and leave us your thoughts.